Welcome back to another anime review. We are reviewing an anime called Clockwork Planet. Now, you might be wondering, why am I having a Naruto shirt on? Well, because I can watch a Naruto made. And it's my fifth favorite anime. But Clockwork Planet. Let's go off with the Clockwork Planet thing. Okay, Clockwork Planet. What is the major anime of this motion? Well, the planet is made out of clockwork. And it says it right in the title. And the main, the, the picture of the girl has a clockwork inside of her head. She knows how, to, now the main character of the cover of the anime, she is a, she's made out of clockwork. She has a heart made out of metal and she, if you fix it right, she can come back to life. Uh, the main character picks up on it because no one else can knows how to fix her. She's in a coffin. Okay. When she falls from the sky and the guy fixes her. Um, but, but by doing, fixing her, her whole entire, his whole entire place gets destroyed because the fact of the matter is, is that he was living there and the coffin destroyed his fucking roof. He fixes her and then she becomes his master. Now, the only reason why he can fix her, unlike everyone else, is the fact that they try to fix her by using gadgets and, gadgets and blueprints. This guy, however, fixes people. The main character knows how to fix the android or something so to speak he knows how to fix her by using just the sound which i think is a really clever unique way which i think is really good now they are a magic duo that's how they are born in he's reckless abandoned he doesn't think his plans out and he, they just wing it every fucking minute which is good um when the other main character the girl with the blonde hair she has the blueprints memorized and she knows how to fix everything on the blueprint. Um, her partner is a bald guy who knows how to make jokes uh, every now and again to her. And she knows how to joke him back. He, she thinks of him as her older brother, so to speak. And they do make a joke around, uh, reference about it. And that's what happens. Now, the first major plot, these four characters are trying to stop the purge of the of the place that they live in because the military wants to purge the whole entire place and sink it down to abyss killing 22 million people okay that makes a whole lot of sense because they don't want to they don't want to cover up their tracks problem is is the fact that even though they did even though they fixed the clock in time because the clockwork was kind of messed up they fixed the clock in time but the military has other issues um they do, they do fix it by the, using the heart of the android that they have at the time. Put her heart in the in the core so that way they can reduce reduce it. And it was like that, that, and the other thing. She can't die because she's made out of clockwork. But I think it's a really interesting, interesting concept of that. That's the end of the first problem. The second problem is that her her sister, the maid sister, I'm gonna call the maid for this point. Her sister is a is a battle machine. Now she she doesn't know how to fight. She, her sister knows how to fight better than she is because that's what she was programmed. She's a battle bot, or so to speak. The problem is though is that fact that she knows how to kill shit, um, which I think is really interesting because both both robots both both sisters have different unique powers towards their clockwork. The maid, the maid knows how to stop time, while the her sister, her younger sister, knows how to go, knows how to deteriorate into different dimensions. That's fucking dope. I thought that was a fucking cool. They do fight each other because the sister has a mask, um, uh, like one of those fucking sunglasses that look like one of those fucking eighties movies or something, and she's getting manipulated by the sunglasses. They break them. And then she has her own free will again, and that's what ends the second part of the anime. Now, she she thinks that the blonde hair and the dude, her mother and father, which I think is fucking funny. Um, it's, uh, they do have jokes here and there, but they're not very much because it's mostly action packed and they need to understand that. It's mostly sci-fi and comedy, but there are some unique fights in this anime, which I think is really good towards the anime as a whole. Now, the last fight that they do, they fight off against a robot that's huge, gigantic, and it looks like a fucking be bug beetle. And the thing is, is the fact that it doesn't fight in unique ways. The first time it fights, it fights really interesting because it fights them by using, like, 
electricity. Um, the military tries to nuke it like three or four times, and they fail all times, except for our main five trio, and a couple of other people that are involved in this situation. But I think the concept of it is really fucking good. Um, how do they do that? Um, well, they destroy it by having the girl who is the, the sister that's the battle mode bot destroy it from the inside, and they take it from the outside. By fixing the clock that the robot destroyed by using the cannon, he decides to destroy the fucking Tower of Heaven, and he destroys it. They repair it instantly. Now, the thing that makes me want to not... is not interested in the villain's anime. I'll explain that in the later half of this video. But I think the concept of the whole anime is really good. I do like the ending though because our five main characters, including one side character, which I'll get to next, they are wanting criminals at the end of this video and the military wants them dead. So I thought that was a really good twist to it and that's why I like about it. Now the other character is, um, uh, is a robot that they saved when they saved her sister. He's only a head though, however. And... Our other main character, the dude that I mentioned that is a badass, he's also a head because the, because the bot that does the electricity attack makes all clockwork not work and all the bots that were there do not function anymore because of what they did. So she took, she took her, her big brother's head and that's why, because he's technically a robot. He puts her in a killing robot and that's what happens. Um, he does get his original body back, which is good. But um, anyway, as I was saying, the main five prob the main five characters, I love them as a character as a whole. The problem with the side character, the two side characters on the other hand, the first side character is um, uh, the robot. Um, they repair him by putting him in a pleasure doll, which I think is hilarious because now you have more boobs in this anime. Uh, I'm not making that up. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because there's a guy who has glasses and he's the grandfather. He helps them out along the way fixing the clock as a whole with the group, but they're technically side characters. They meet up with him at a strip club, which I think is hilarious. Um, <laughs> and the per and the main character, the guy with the blue the guy with the headphones, the guy who can hear every sound that, that's going on. His problem is the fact that he's a pervert. He likes women and that's what happens. Because he's a fucking pervert. He's trying to marry the fucking bot that he just saved. Even though she's made out of clockwork. That makes no fucking sense. But anyway. As I was saying. The second thing that I like to say. And this is the whole problem. This is the whole thing. She knows how to use a weapon. That's all she does. And that's what the main problem is. Okay. Okay. With that being said though. The main problem I have with this anime is the villains, okay? Not the military. The military establishes themselves as corrupt people who don't know what the fuck they're doing and this, that, and the other thing. And they're all in cahoots with each other. The main villain of this anime, I don't understand why the fuck he's a main villain in the whole anime. First off, the main villain dies, but before that, the, the main takes off his... Chops off his hand before... But before that, he shoots the her sister with a laser gun or some speed. And then he just ends up dying um, with the bot that they destroyed. The thing, the thing that drives me nuts, though, is the fact that there's no character development of this villain. He shows up in one scene midway through the, midway through the anime. And that infuriates me in itself. Because I don't understand why you introduced a new villain, even though you haven't established it. And when they do meet, when you do meet the new villain, he doesn't speak until two episodes later. That's why I don't understand. He doesn't speak. He doesn't know. I don't know why the fuck. The main villain is the main problem I have with this anime. Because the guy doesn't do shit until the very end. And when he does, he just gets his ass kicked. That's all he fucking does. It makes no fucking sense. I don't understand why the fuck this anime... Yes, I'm fucking ranting because this villain is the worst fucking villain I've ever 
seen in my whole entire life. He doesn't do shit. There's no character dialogue. He doesn't really say shit. And the only thing that I think that he's being a major fucking dick is that he kills the people that are helping him control the fucking machine. So he decides to kill them all, even though they're allegiance towards him, because he's a fucking dick. That's all he gives a damn about. He's a fucking loser, and he's just doing it just because they need a bad guy at the end. I mean, what the fuck? What the hell? It's like fucking Dragon Balls. It's like fucking, like, you know, fucking, like, any anime. You just put in a villain in there. He's gone in like two seconds and then you're good to go. You don't need any more villains. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't fucking get his logic. But with that being said, though, I'm giving this a five. I think the soundtrack's good. Uh, it makes you want to think, too, which I think is good. The, the main character, the main five trio are really good character development wise. And I think that and I think that the scenery of the anime is really unique and very interesting because of the fact that um, most of the characters in the anime are all working on Clockwork Planet. But even though it's a Clockwork Planet, they still have fucking water. Which that, and I still don't understand that, motherfucker. I don't understand what the fuck is going on. But whatever. Um, and then you also have... Um, uh, you also have the main character's growth as a couple because I feel like that the blonde girl and the girl guy with blue hair I feel like that their mothers and should be white wife and husband because of the fact that the maid's little sister thinks of him as a mother and father figure which I think is fucking hilarious but they make a joke right off the gate but my main but, but the problems with this anime is the fact that the main villains are forgettable the main villains don't know what the fuck they're doing and i don't know why the fuck they put a main villain who doesn't know how to fucking speak when they get introduced to him he doesn't speak at all he's j i feel like he's just there just because he's there cuz you need a villain at the end of this anime I do like how the ending is, though. The five characters are main criminals now, and the military wants to get them. But that's enough furying and stuff, because once the military's gone, the military doesn't do shit either. I mean, what the fuck? You you stop the main villain. You stop. I thought they stopped the main villain, which is the military. But then all of a sudden, they decide to like you know turn that turn it upside down by making them. The main villain's bitch, even though he doesn't really do anything until the very fucking end. And when he does, he doesn't do shit. I don't fucking understand it. But I'm giving this a five. It's a good... When it comes to the action-packed anime... When it comes to the action-packed... Uh, when it comes to the action-packed anime, I think it, it's... I think it's really good because they make... Because they make unique fights. I mean, the, her sister knows how to de de and attack in different dimensions. And they're... And the main character, the maid, knows how to fucking, um, uh, knows how to, um, uh, stop time and attack you from that perspective. Although it turns them off at, at the end of the fight because they're do using gears that are really powerful and stuff, but whatever. But to be honest with you, this anime is decent action. If it, if it was, if I was to, to rate it on its fighting, fighting mechanics, I think I'll give it an 8 because of the fact that it's it has really unique fights on how the villains and the and the uh, the heroes attack fighting each other, which I think is really unique and really interesting. Uh, but the main problem I have with this character, the main problem I have with this anime, why it's a five, is that the main villain doesn't need to. You can put in you can put in the fucking robot, and the main villain would just be the same thing. I mean, what the fuck? I don't get why the main villain's there in the first fucking place. And they don't even establish what the fuck he's doing in there. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take care. And yes, I do know I'm fucking pissed off. I wish they put more dialogue in the fucking... <laughs> so I'm getting really fucking agitated and really fucking pissed off because this anime makes no fucking sense when it comes to its fucking villains. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But anyway, I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take care. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But anyway, um... Yeah, I just don't like the, I just don't like the, I just don't like the, uh, the ending of the anime as a whole because of the fact that the main villain, the, you can't, you can't just make a main villain a generic bad guy. That's all they're doing. And that's what I don't like about the anime. So that's why it gets a five out of me. And the fact that I got, 
And the other reason why I'm giving this a 5 is because of something that I really noticed. The anime in the beginning takes takes a few episodes to get me interested in the anime. And I think that's the other reason why I give this a 5. It took me up to episode 3 and 4 and 5 just to get into the anime. But that's just me. I think it started off slow but then it... But then it got the unique fights and this, that, and the other thing. Also, the, also episode 10 and 11 kind of got me bored as well, but uh, whatever. I do like it how they all chip in and help him out. Um, and that's the main thing I like about the anime. Now then, with that being said, I hope you guys have a nice, positive day. Take fucking care, bitches! Yeah, I'm going to say that every time. I should put that on a shirt. That will be fucking dope. <laughs> so stay positive, everyone.